Welcome back, everyone. ATV safety experts are encouraging parents to keep a close eye on their kids when they're out on the road. This after someone hit a 10 year old over the weekend in Knoxville County. WTV's Nicole Dantzler is live to tell us more about what happened that night and what program coordinators have to say about ATV safety. Craig and Emily, the Knoxville County Sheriff confirms that the accident happened around 8.30 on Friday night. Now, it happened right here on Macon Lynn Creek Road near Brooksville. There's no word on the child's condition, but deputies do say the driver said they did not see the ATV in the road. That person is now in custody. With summer approaching, program coordinators for ATV safety say that we will see more kids riding on ATVs. Now they tell me more about safety and what dangerous behaviors to avoid. Mississippi State University, along with 4-H, has an ATV safety program that has a coordinator provide rider course trainings and awareness trainings. Brad Stanton teaches an ATV program for kids where they set up obstacle courses, have safety days in schools, and oversee the ASI e-course, which is an interactive computer course. He says the two most dangerous behaviors is riding an ATV without a helmet and riding on public roads. Mississippi, I believe the, the law is that no four-wheelers are allowed on, on public roads. You know, that's the only place you're going to get hit by a car. Larry Alexander says when it comes to Mississippi ATV laws, there are very few that govern ATV operators. One of the laws that was passed probably back in 2011, it just stated that any operator under the age of 16 that operated a ATV machine should have gone through uh, at least a ATV rider course or at least have a valid driver's license. He says they teach the ATV safety program all year long, although more kids drive ATVs in the summer. If you know what can happen, you know how to prevent these accidents. Both coordinators say that if anyone wants more information about the ATV safety program or if they want to take a class, they can reach out or contact their local extension center. Live in Starkville, Nicole Dantzler, WTVA 9 News.